So hey folks, you catch me on another cafe series and uh, today's episode will take us down uh, the Cockerham Road from Lancaster uh, past Glass and Dock all that way and then uh, all the way down towards Not End and Not End Cafe Now uh, Not End Cafe also has a bike night um, every week I believe on a Wednesday night uh, It can get quite busy down there but it's a nice, uh, nice spot to go on an early evening if you're uh, you're free on a Wednesday night um, but also I sometimes uh, after work try and get down before the sun sets and uh, head down that way and what I normally do is pick up some fish and chips or something from the uh, the fish and chip shop in uh, Notang village and uh, just pop them in my top box and then head down towards Notang cafe which is right next to where the, uh, the ferry crossing to Fleetwood is and uh, it's a nice place to sit just there and have some uh, some fish and chips. So that's uh, it's quite a good place to go of an evening if you just fancy getting out. And also the uh, the Cockerham Road is a cracking road that we're going to head down uh, just now once we get past this cyclist. So we've got the uh, the new Osmo action camera that I'm using now for the vlog. So this is the first real uh, real vlog that I've done with this. Um, so this is mounted directly on the front of my helmet, and uh, you should see an improvement in the quality on the videos. Uh, now we're streaming in uh, 2.7K HD, 60 frames per second longer in uh, 1080p so uh, the video footage should be uh, a lot crisper a lot clearer um, sadly the uh, the audio coming from the Osmo action um, DJI have not yet released the audio adapter yet they will do uh, soon I hope uh, so currently I'm using the uh, the audio from the drift which has been uh, absolutely superb over the years Sinking them both up, so uh, yeah, it's just nice to get out with all that rain and things we've had. Um, currently, been away for the uh, past two weeks on holiday to uh, Italy. You might have seen me uh, pop a snippet up from that, which was all very nice. And, uh, yeah, we're away with the family and the kids for two weeks, which uh, everyone enjoyed, but it's always nice to uh, get home. And, uh, I did miss uh, getting out on the uh, the bike. So we're back now anyway, so all good. Just passing the stalk on the right-hand side there before the turning for Glass and Dock. So if you are heading to Glass and Dock, you'll see it in another cafe series, a um, couple back actually. And uh, if you just turn right over this bridge, that'll take you down that way. A little bit cloudy today again, a few rain showers about, but it's to be expected. At least it's not as bad as it was last week, which was uh, an absolutely incredible amount of rain it put down. My plan next weekend, I mentioned it briefly in the last video, but uh, the uh, wheelie world record is uh, on at a place called Elvington, an Elvington airstrip, and that's over in the York in Yorkshire. And uh, basically I'm going to head over there sure which night yet depending on weather I'm just keeping my eye on the weather uh, I'm gonna possibly camp for one or two nights and uh, we'll take in the uh, the wheelie world championships it is on for two days so uh, I'll only be attending one of those days but uh, never been before so it'll be interesting to uh, to see what it's all about and uh, see if the record gets broken so with all this weather around, I, uh, 
actually bought a new tent and you can see that in the last video that was put up at the weekend and uh, basically uh, my old tent leaked like a sieve um, last year anyway so I've uh, basically gone out and bought a new one, a better one the last thing I want to do is camp and then uh, get wet in the middle of the night Flies hitting my visor today. Hope it's not uh, hitting the front of the camera lens. I sometimes think where the uh, the new camera is mounted on the front, that it's uh, a bit more susceptible to uh, to flies hitting it than the uh, the drift was on the side of the helmet. But we'll see. Uh, my little screen in front of me just here might be deflecting them just high enough so it doesn't uh, hit the camera but uh, trial and error we'll see how it goes anyway but uh, yeah I wanted to uh, to give you guys a bit more of a clearer image and of course that does depend on what you're playing back the, uh, the video on YouTube because I believe even though I'm recording in uh, 2.7k on a uh, iPhone or an iPad um, it'll actually only play back in 1080p so uh, it should look clearer though um, uh, if you are watching it back on a PC or anything uh, different to an iPad or iPhone then uh, you should be getting the full 2.7k experience so what you'll see down here shortly is a set of average speed cameras um, uh, they're permanent static cameras and I think the uh, speed limit further down is about 50 when you go through those so just beware it's like a little bit of rain in the distance there week and uh, I really wanted to but work is stopping me on uh, Thursday to uh, to go up to Scotland to a funeral of a, uh, a guy I've never met but I feel like I met him and I was planning to meet him in August to go out for a ride out uh, he also has the same bike the Yamaha MT10 SP and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a sad sad case, but he uh, he passed away in a motorcycle accident about ten days ago, just over a week ago now, up in Scotland. Uh, the guy's name's Steve Lewis, so uh, rest in peace, Steve, and uh, ride free. Uh, I believe the incident was with a camper van. I'm not sure of the details, but uh, he was a lovely chap and uh, always. Uh, commented on the Facebook uh, groups for the MT-10 and the MT-10 SP always helpful, full of advice um, so my, uh, my thoughts go out to Steve and Steve's family in this time really wish I could have made it up to the funeral um, but work has just got in the way on Thursday and I can't make it so uh, yeah, a bit of a sad day um, it just makes you think about riding and uh, I know it's not always a uh, rider error, it's mainly uh, something to do with another vehicle but just ride safe guys and girls so we're just coming into uh, Pilling the Pilling area A, uh, petrol station further down the road so if you are running low on fuel and uh, you can fill up so 
as you exit Pilling here, you'll see the average speed camera sign just there. Little train on the right here. In somebody's garden or a company's garden. And then uh, just up the road here, you've got the uh, average speed camera. So uh, beware, you have been warned. It's not 50 limit, it's national speed limit, so uh, normal speeds, but not over them. A few cows in the fields there. What life they've got. See that? Mm. Oh, nice. And a tractor. Always beware of the tractors. GP or if you're uh, into watching that at the weekend I, uh, I watched it and uh, wow unbelievable race between uh, Marcus and uh, Dovinciosa epic battle and uh, we've just got a bit of rain here a few sprinkles on the visor so you're probably getting it on the lens too which is a shame escape the rain at the moment. Hopefully it's just a shower though because I'm in my uh, my bullet jeans today and uh, not really in my waterproofs. See. So you've got a sign for Not End just here, Presol B5270, that's the road we, uh, we want to take. So we seem to be coming out of the rain now, and uh, looks to be just a little bit of a, a shower, the old cloud passing over. So we're just coming into Knot End and uh, I'll point out the, uh, the chip shop that I normally go to which is uh, directly in front of us, uh, red and white signed shop saying fish and chips, K's fish and chips, K's chippy, there you go. Really good and uh, that's where I come sometimes early evening to, uh, to have some tea. So just follow the road round, uh, it'll take you across the front just here, you've got the, uh, the sands on your right hand side, looks like the tide is out at the moment, and then Not End Cafe is just uh, at the end here, as well as the, uh, the ferry landing for the uh, ferry that goes across to Fleetwood, not sure if that still runs, um, it used to, you can take your car across uh, Literally a couple hundred yards it is just across the, the water from Knot End here to Fleetwood. And uh, if it's not running, you have to go all the way around. So, Knot End Chippy, just here on the left. Just sneak through here.
So that was Not End Cafe, and uh, very nice it was too. I had a light breakfast, which was uh, more than enough realistically, so what the, uh, the main full breakfast would be like, I've no idea. But uh, yeah, I had that and a coffee, which was very nice, and uh, came to about £9.50, which, uh, it's not bad. Some people might think it's expensive, but for a tenner, for a uh, spot of lunch or a breakfast, I don't think you can go wrong for that. So we're just coming back uh, through the village now. And uh, like I said before, the fish and chip shop case is just on the right hand side, just there. So it's a funny old place, uh, one road in, one road out, just until you get through the, uh, the village. But uh, we're going to head out towards uh, Garstang and then uh, back towards Lancaster that way. Like I say, it's, uh, it's a good spot on, a, uh, on an evening. Uh, especially on a Wednesday night, because the cafe is still open, uh, though it is very, very busy. And uh, there was an occasion, if I'm truthful, when I came, I placed an order for some food and uh, it never turned up because they were just too busy and it got lost somewhere. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to get your food, and uh, hopefully you'll have better luck than me on a bike night, but uh, it was nice uh, to come on a bike night and uh, that's on a Wednesday and just uh, have a look at the machinery that comes down on, uh, on that night, yeah. So I believe that's on every Wednesday, every Wednesday evening from uh, I think 6 till 9. I'm just going to do a right here. Take me out towards Garstang Way. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to next weekend. Uh, I do hope this weather buggers off and uh, we get some decent sunny weather again because uh, if I am going camping which I want to do because I enjoy motorcycle camping and uh, I still want to get in before the summer's out uh, another trip to Wales and a couple of nights camping there um, but I also want to get over to Elvington next weekend so uh, Let's see what the weather does. I've not booked a ticket yet because it is weather dependent, really. Uh, if it's going to be raining all weekend, for one, the event will probably be cancelled, and uh, two, I'm not really into riding in the rain. I don't know about you. <laughs> don't mind the odd shower when I'm out here and there, but I try and plan my rides around uh, dry roads and. Uh, The bike is not, as you know if you watch my channel, it's not something I, uh, I use for commuting. It's something I use for uh, pleasure and like a toy. Certainly want to do more, more tours and I want to get back to, uh, to Europe on the bike at some point. But it's just, uh, it's just finding the time what would work and uh, everything else. So we're going to come up to a junction in a minute on the, uh, the road just here and if you go straight on that will take you towards Polton and uh, you can get to Fleetwood and Blackpool that way. Or you can turn left and that will take you back up towards the road that we came down. So yeah with the camera set up that I have currently now being the Osmo Action. Now I did uh, purchase this just before I went away on a holiday about three weeks ago and uh, I used it on holiday. It's uh, waterproof down to 11 meters so I used it on a, uh, a little uh, tripod and uh, basically used it in the sea a lot with the kids and uh, above water and underwater and I noticed when I pull it out of the, uh, the water I'm not sure if the lens is coated with something, but there was no uh, water droplets on the lens. And uh, I haven't seen the footage yet to this video for when it was raining. But uh, when I was in the cafe, I expected to wipe the lens off with water droplets and there was none on it. So, yet to see the footage, uh, to see if you did see any, uh, 
any rain on the lens when I was coming down to the uh, the cafe just now. Blue sky is trying to poke through over there. So yeah, the road that uh, we turned right down to Knot End is just here. So all that we've done is uh, come back round. And uh, that was the road I went down just there. And then we're back into the, uh, the zone where we've got these uh, average speed cameras just now. Still get past this wagon though. Don't want to follow him all the way uh, back. So if you're coming over this way, and uh, you can get to here if you're coming through the Trough of Boland, you can get to here. Just have a look on uh, Google Maps, and uh, I'll have already put the map up at the beginning of the route today. So. Uh, it's only a short route out for me from Lancaster, um, but it's worth getting in because it's uh, it's a really nice little cafe. And uh, also, you could take in, uh, and I've not added it to this one, um, is Glass and Dock and the uh, the tea van that's uh, always down there. But uh, yeah, it would be uh, would be nice. You could take in a tea van and, uh, and then go and get a spot of lunch, or or vice versa. When you're coming back, you can stop off at Glass and Dock. Nice place to stop. And uh, if you have watched the uh, the Glass and Dock episode, I did show you where the, uh, the smokehouse is for the uh, smoked fish shop that's down there as well. That's always worth a uh, look in if you're uh, if you're into into your fish and uh, they do some lovely smoked fish down there so I've got some raindrops again as I say I don't know if it's hitting the camera or not but uh, I'll only find out when I uh, view the footage uh, when I edit it so the other thing I like about this camera as with the uh, the old drift I have is, uh, and I'm sure you can on the GoPros as well, is you can check, swap out the batteries. So I've not actually uh, tested this until it's run out yet. But I believe at 2.7K 60 frames per second that uh, I can get about 85 minutes, which is, uh, what is that? It's about an hour and a half. So. Uh, that's not bad from one battery, and uh, normally my uh, my trips tend to take in a, a couple hours. So I have a uh, spare battery, and uh, I've also just purchased a, uh, a triple battery charger. So I'll probably get another battery just to make sure I've got three to uh, just swap out when needed. So the SD card I have in uh, currently is a 64 gigabyte class 3 card for high quality video and basically uh, I can get quite a lot of footage more than the battery on that but I have ordered a 128 gigabyte card to go in there so I don't have to worry about SD cards and uh, filling one of those up you can never have a, a, enough uh, SD cards I, I don't think now on the last video uh, where I was showing you some of the camping equipment I use i.e. tent and uh, self-inflated uh, mats and pillows and all that kind of stuff even my uh, jet boil that I use for cooking or just as a kettle um, I did put a link to all of that gear in the uh, description below the videos uh, as I do with, uh, with all of my vids I put a link to uh, all of the equipment I'm using and uh, to be honest to buy most of it um, from Amazon unless a local uh, store has, uh, has the product I want but that's getting even rarer these days as uh, the retail market is hit hard by online sales so I'm also interested to hear your feedback on the uh, the new camera setup with regard to uh, stabilization 
Now I've not got stabilisation uh, switched on and the reason for that is that it actually crops the image that you're seeing and I think that the, uh, the image that you're seeing now is pretty good and uh, also your head kind of acts as a stabilisation uh, gimbal when you're wearing any uh, any cameras on your helmet so uh, yeah interested just on the feedback really I know it's in a uh, different position now on the front of my helmet not on the side so it's probably getting more up and down movement than the uh, the drift was on the side of the helmet so we'll see I think the reason I didn't go for the new drift 4k um, was mainly that the mic input on the 4k drift is on the bottom and not on the back of the old uh, drift ghost s like i have uh, currently and uh, i don't think it was that waterproof to be honest i know they've just brought a new one out which uh, the mic setup coming out the back and everything is really great but it only shoots in 1080p and that's not where I wanted to go as uh, technology moves forward. So yeah, I thought I'd give uh, the DJI Osmo Action a whirl uh, as I use DJI drones and also the Osmo Pocket which produce uh, epic video quality and uh, they're just really the leaders in uh, especially the drone market and then now they're going into the action cam business and they're, uh, they're the only player out there that can be a real threat to GoPro in bringing something that's uh, better than a GoPro and I think the, uh, the footage is comparable between the two um, from all the reviews I've been seeing the Osmo action is better and has better stabilization than the uh, the GoPro Hero 7 currently but now it's a, it's a battle and it's good that someone else is now attacking the GoPro in that market um, because they'll all both have to step the game up now to uh, to try and compete with each other and that only uh, brings a better camera to you and I at the end of the day so uh, always good to have competition so I've got a bit of free time of the weekends now um, and uh, as I mentioned next weekend will be Elvington all being well and then maybe the weekend after we'll go camping in Wales and uh, hopefully those uh, episodes will be up in the next week or two But for now, yeah, if you've got any suggestions, and I've asked this before on uh, cafes within the Lancashire or Cumbria area, even in Yorkshire, uh, it's not too far from myself, um, I'd love to do some routes and rides to uh, your favourite cafe as well. And um, also, uh, you know, maybe do some meetups uh, around these cafes if you're going that way. Happy to meet up anywhere and uh, it's always good to have an excuse for a ride out oh i forgot to mention as well uh, if you are down this road or this way and uh, you like ice cream then uh, you've got the uh, very famous wallings uh, ice cream farm and shop um, just back um, into cockerham and then you turn left and just down that road and uh, yeah, Walling's ice cream, pretty pretty famous ice cream, beautiful ice cream. They have their own farm there where they uh, produce milk from the uh, cows and churn their own own ice cream. That's the road to Glass and Dock there, the B5290. And uh, yeah, it's worth an ice cream, worth a stop. Um, so many different flavours of ice cream they do. It's really good. Um, so just here at the Stork, um, I think on episode one maybe, if you turn left just there, there's a little cycle cafe, Cafe de Lune, that's uh, really good as well. Uh, check back in, I think episode one it was of the cafe series, and you'll see that cafe. 
um, it's really nice for a stop as well there's lots of places around here really but uh, yeah if you go into Dock or, or down this way then you've got uh, you know the Burger Van in Glass and Dock you've got Café de Lune um, you've got the Stork Pub on the corner there that's some nice for a, a pint and a bag of crisps on an evening and then uh, down towards uh, where we've just been today and you've got the cafe there at Knot End which is all very good and then you've got Wallin's ice cream uh, farm as well which is great so lots of uh, lots of places to go and stop and get a little bit fatter so I hope you've liked the uh, the cafe series this time um, weather wise hasn't been too great but I uh, can't help that but it's just nice to get out and uh, nice to get out to uh, to finally get to Not End Cafe and don't forget on the uh, the Wednesday nights the biker nights it's always nice to come out for a, a, an early evening uh, ride if you can get to uh, get off work a little bit early I think it starts at 6 till 9 o'clock so uh, depending on where you're riding from if you're local then it's easy if you're not local then uh, at least it doesn't finish till nine, I don't think. So yeah, um, stay tuned. Uh, we've got uh, the Elvington trip, as I keep mentioning, next weekend, and that'll be really good, which is the World Wheelie Championship. Um, so I think the, uh, the record stands at over 200 miles an hour uh, along a kilometer runway uh, doing a wheelie. So that'll be interesting to see and get some footage. So yeah, I'll catch you uh, next weekend on another video and uh, have a great week, folks. Subscribe and hit the bell button for regular reminders of new videos coming up.